Decluttering your home makes it much easier to organize, tidy, clean, and maintain it. But there's already so much going on in our lives as parents that the idea of taking on a decluttering project can be really overwhelming and feel like it's gonna take ages. Maybe you'd like to go through your linen cupboard and declutter the extra towels and bed sheets that are crammed in there, making it really hard to put things away neatly. Maybe you wanna clear out your kitchen drawers so that you only have the utensils you really need and you can get them out and put them away again easily when you're cooking. Maybe you're ready to get rid of a bunch of broken or never played with kids toys now so that you don't end up with overflowing bedrooms or toy rooms at Christmas time. Or maybe you want to finally tackle the garage so that things like camping gear, car stuff, tools and seasonal decorations all have a place to belong and don't get lost or damaged. But who has a big chunk of time to commit to a project like that? How can you get it done when the kids are home with you? How do you stop it from becoming a huge mess halfway through that just makes you want to give up again? The easiest way to declutter any part of your home is to do it one tiny step at a time. Don't do the whole garage. Start with one thing in the garage and break that down into smaller steps. And I mean really small. You can try something like this. Decide to do the seasonal decorations in the garage first. One day you can set your phone timer for 10 minutes and during that time just throw away anything broken. Then come back another time and set your timer for 10 minutes and sort the decorations into occasions like Halloween, birthday, Christmas. Then come back another time, set your timer for 10 minutes and declutter just the Halloween decorations. You can put anything unwanted into a garbage bag or box and stick it in the boot of your car so that you can donate it the next time you're out and about. And then you just repeat that step whenever you have another 10 minutes until the Halloween decorations are done. Then you do the same steps for each occasion. Now the seasonal decos are done and when you're ready to take on another part of the garage or a different part of your home, you can start again. Does it take longer to declutter one tiny step at a time? If you add up every 10 minutes, it takes around the same time in total as it would if you did it all in one big day. But it's not overwhelming. You can do it around the kids. There's no huge mess and your timer gives you permission to stop without feeling guilty about it. It's much easier and when it's easier, you're more likely to do it regularly. So you'll end up getting more decluttering done in a year with tiny steps than you would with big projects. Every small step really does make a difference. I hope you found this helpful. If you're ready for next steps in taking care of your home, you might want to check out my free Simple Spring Clean Checklist. It's an easy way to do a little spring cleaning without feeling overwhelmed. I'll leave a link below for you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. One take wonder.